by Lulux for luxury and style are attainable. I'm finally doing it, my co-collection. So behind me, the closet that is bursting open, those are all my coats. So I'm just gonna kind of do a vlog style and just try everything on. I did this last year, so I will link that video below. If you're interested in watching it, you wanna see what's changed. Um, I love coats, coats and boots, they're my thing. Um, so we're just gonna try all of the coats on. Tell me which ones are your favorite. Some are old, some are new, so I will link what I can below. Uh, what I'm wearing, you'll see throughout. It is my new dress by Monroe Steel and something by Sonia. Yeah, um, and I have a size medium. Fits great, super comfy. Um, I did tie mine in the back, so I think you can tie it. I think you're supposed to tie it in the front, but I tied it in the back so that um, it doesn't distract from all the coats. I needed something like simple and easy, so this was perfect. Um, and before we get into the video, I'm gonna show you my new jewelry pieces. They are all from Majuri. This part of the video is in partnership with them. You guys love when I talk about jewelry, um, and this is my first time trying them. And they are more of a fine jewelry brand. I wanted to kind of like update my everyday jewelry, just more like classic timeless pieces. Um, and their ethos I love. It's basically fine jewelry for my damn self. So basically no occasion. We don't need to celebrate anything for me to have something nice. And I love that for me. <laughs> so I have two necklaces. I'll do close-ups because um, the lighting is a little weird right now. Um, but I got this like kind of simple diamond necklace. And then I have two charms on this other one. And I've got a J. You guys know I love initials. I love me a J. <laughs> um, so I got a J and then I got my um, birthstone. Again, I'll do like some um, close-ups. And let me get the official official names for you. So this is the, I'm pretty sure this is the large diamond necklace um, and it's 14 karat gold um, with just a diamond. <laughs> and then I got the, they have diamond letter pendants so you can kind of get obviously any letter that you want. So I got a J there. And then this is just uh, my birthstone. So you can choose whatever your birthstone is. You can kind of just add this to any necklace. So I thought it would be cute to just have both of these on here together because it's kind of like personalized. And I like that. Yeah, I love layering. And then the jewelry. This is the Charlotte ring. This ring is um, gold vermeil. Um, not to be confused with regular gold plating, gold vermeil involves a much thicker layer of gold um, that gives it more durability. So that's what gold vermeil is. So that's this ring. And Again, the necklace is just, um, this is a just gold necklace and then a diamond pendant. And then this is a diamond and gold pendant as well. And then this is obviously um, my birthstone. So it is just a stone. I'll link all of the info below. Okay, without any more rambling, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the coats. Okay, first up is this purple Zara coat. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a side by side of the full length, um, but I got this, I wanna say a year or two ago. It is more of a like overcoat style, doesn't have a lot of structure, um, very relaxed, but I thought the um, kind of casualness with the kind of like pop of color would be a really good combo. I didn't wear this that much last year, but this is kind of the color of the season, so hopefully I'll get um, a lot more and I find a dollar. Oh, I get a lot more use out of it. This year, um, it kind of matches my purple gloves, kind of. It'll definitely be a look at some point. Um, but let's move on. Next up is this lavender coat from Mango. I just got this this year when I saw it. I knew I wanted it immediately. It is super uh, structured and I, I just think it is so stunning. It's such a pretty color. And I have a, um, I pre-ordered a, a Brandon Blackwood bag that's this color. I can't wait. Also, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting until my back comes. And it's definitely a look, but this is um, double breasted. Let's see, the fabric is made in Italy. Yeah, it's really good quality. I highly recommend mango coats. I actually just got another one as well that I'll show you. It's double breasted. This is probably my favorite coat style. I prefer kind of almost like a military style, double breasted, structured shoulders. And I just love it. I love it has this like cool pocket here. Um, it has pockets on both sides, sides, but this one is like just a regular slip pocket and this one has like a little flap. Just thought it was really unique. Also the purple coat I got in a size large. So I would 
probably size up in that one. Um, next, we're headed into pinks. Also, I'm not gonna show like shackets. I show those all the time and this video would just be way too long if I did. This one is like two or three years old from Topshop. It's in a US 6 and it's kind of like that purple one. Um, it's like an overcoat style and this is just good for like casual, relaxed days. It has kind of like these uh, brown buttons. It's double breasted, um, almost like, I guess this is kind of like a cocoon um, style, so has pockets very cute casual I feel like I didn't wear this that often last year so I may need to donate this one I don't know but it's such a pretty color so we'll see let me know what you think again I prefer like I wear the coats I wear the most have more structure to them I just feel like it looks a little more extra I don't know all right next up is my favorite coats by Sax Pots and I got it in a size, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen if I find it. A size two, I think they come in zero, one, two, three. I'm pretty sure that's the sizes. Um, I got this on Essence in the middle of summer on sale. So these coats are pretty, pretty pricey, uh, but you can always catch them on sale. And, uh, color I was really this close to buying another one this summer that was on sale but I was like I don't think I need two of these coats am I having a little bit of regret that I didn't get it yes um but it's basically it's just it's it's extra it's a lot but I love it uh it has how many buttons oh it buttons all the way down I never do these buttons but they do button let's see yeah, that's one. It buttons all the way down um, and it's like a trench coat and then it has a little tie here. I usually just do the tie, it has pockets. It's not super heavy. Um, so just FYI, this is not like a super warm coat. It's very much like trench coat. This is like patent leather. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. They come in lots of colors. And they come in like, sh this is shearling too, so that is this one. Okay, I lied, this is, this is my favorite coat. <laughs> this is a Balenciaga Hourglass coat. I have it in a size 38. Um, and this is one, more of like a fall spring coat. It's light, it's lightweight. Um, and I absolutely love it. I found it at the Balenciaga outlet in Palm Springs, Desert Springs, whatever the outlet mall is right outside of LA. It's like two hours. And I wanted it for so long. Um, I remember like having this on my Pinterest board when I went in the store and I was just like, do you have any hourglass coats? And he was like, let me look in the back. And he brought out this one and I was like, I don't care what size it is, I'm taking it. <laughs> um, so this is it. It's in this really pretty yellow check with like these hints of green and pink and I just love it so much it's like my favorite spring coat because it's just like pretty bright colors get you ready for summer but you're still warm so absolutely love these highly recommend if you're near an outlet always check and always ask I have another coat that I also found in a, a Balenciaga outlet in Paris so <laughs> always check that out. all right next up is another trench coat I love trench coats this I got from Nasty Gal last year I did a video on it and I still love it. Um, I'll insert like a little picture. Um, I recently wore it and I just love it. It's lightweight, so again, it's not gonna get you through like the cold, cold months. But like right now, fall and then into spring, it is beautiful. It's like a little faux croc in this really pretty caramel color. And I just love it. And I want to say it was like, like 40 bucks. It's pockets, super, super chic. And I love a little faux croc, a little shine, a little sheen to it. Very pretty. You can really, you can score some like good pieces on Nasty Gal. Just gotta look. The um, last coat I had in a US size six, just FYI, it'd be great. Um, next up is the Fendi Trench. Again, super lightweight. These are not gonna like keep you warm in the dead of winter. This is, this is almost like a shacket, um, but of course I had to show it. I got this from What Goes Around Comes Around in New York. They are a luxury consignment store. 
Um, similar to the Real Real as far as like they do clothing very well. A lot of places sell bags, but not a lot of places sell clothes and like nice clothes that you actually want to buy. Um, the prices are a little high, I feel, especially like bags and stuff. They're a little inflated, um, but I could not <laughs> resist this coat. So I got it from there. It is really big. I want to say it's like a, yeah, it's a 44. I'm typically, and I think that's Italian size. And I, in Italian, I'm usually like a 40, maybe a 42, depending. Um, but we made it work, didn't we? And I like to, again, just wear it kind of like, usually just open, but if I wanted to wear it like this, then I would just like, kind of got to style it a bit, roll up the sleeves. Again, this is like very much in the jacket um, category, but it would be good with like a really chunky sweater if it was kind of cold, but just know it's not gonna keep you warm. All right, now we're going into the blues. <laughs> this is from Zara. I love this coat, um, kind of like exaggerated puffers came in, I wanna say last year maybe, or two years ago. Um, and I got this really pretty cobalt blue one. This is a size medium. I love it so much. Hopefully they bring these back this year, but this is great for like when you're outside, those festive activities, you wanna go see the lights. The last time I wore this, I went to Bush Gardens last, yeah, last year to see like the lights and stuff. Oh no, not last year, we didn't go nowhere last year. So two years ago, <laughs> um, when we lived, where we used to live. But anywho, um, I love this. It keeps you warm, but it's very lightweight. Um, it has a zip. She is long, oh, and the color is just so pretty. I love this so much. I don't have a lot of puffer coats, but I love this one. Okay, next coat I got from Frankie Shop probably four years ago. Um, it's by a brand called Udon Choi. Um, it is navy, <laughs> it is patent. Yes, I like I like patent leather. I'm trying to see the size, but I don't see it in here. Um, but I absolutely, I love this coat too. It is so extra, but I just love the sheen. It's just oh, so pretty. Um, this one was on sale. It may have been like $400 or something like that. Um, and it snaps in the back. I don't know why it does that, but it does. <laughs> if you want to get some air in there and then it comes with the little, um, it's like a trench coat, but like a puffer patent trench coat. Just very, oh, very extra, very warm. I love this coat. I'm so glad I got it. I feel like this is like a forever piece. Absolutely. Okay, we have a few tans that were split up. So before we get to the blacks, this is a jacket, but I wanted to show it anyway because it's a sax pot um, jacket and it has a shearling. So I wanted to show you that in case you didn't know what I was talking about. Um, and it's in this tan color, but it's cropped. Um, and I got it last year. I'm still on the fence about it. Uh, I wanted something different than the longer one and I really wanted something in shearling but I feel like maybe I'll sell this and just get a longer one. I don't know but I also think like it's nice to have something shorter if I want just a different vibe or feel like all of my coats are long but it's also like if I'm cold I don't want my legs to be cold. I'm not sure let me know <laughs> what you think. Just not sure about the length on me. I feel like it hits me at my widest part but also if I was going somewhere like dressy and I want something a little shorter you know sometimes you need different lengths and I feel like all of mine are long so let me know what you think I got this from shop bop last year okay next up is an H&M coat this isn't a size small and it's kind of like that teddy feel I want to say I got this two years ago uh, and it's just warm like this is for when it is just like too cold to function outside um, it comes with a belt. I love that. That's the thing you'll see most of my like puffers or really big oversized coats. I prefer when they come with a belt. I just think you have the option to wear it casual, but then you can kind of cinch in your waist and make it just like a little more flattering. So this is just so warm. Oh my God. It has pockets. Um, I said this is a size small. It ran really big um, and it is just so warm. I'm pretty sure. Who did I see with this? Um, I saw June Ambrose with this. On Instagram and I was like oh I gotta go to I gotta go to H&M and find that immediately and I want to say it was like 119 or something like that okay next up is the mango coat I was talking about that I also just got and this is a collaboration with um, it's Pernille times mango and it is I want to say she's a blogger and I'm not sure where she's from but I think it's in Europe but she's the same um, blogger that does 
hold on. I'm pretty sure she's the same. Yeah, she's the same blogger that made these shoes with um, Gia Couture. Yeah, these are also Gia Couture. Like on the inside, it says Gia times her nail. So, I mean, she's doing it. <laughs> um, but she has great style. So, uh, when I saw her little collection, I was like, oh, let me see what's in there. And I love this coat. I don't have, I didn't have a great coat at all. And I like how this has like, just the texture, I thought it was really cool. It's that same kind of overcoat style. So I wish it had a little more structure, but it's super, super chic. I just love the tones. Love the tones. This is surprisingly lighter weight than I expected it to be. Um, so keep that in mind, but it has really nice detail. Like here it says perennial also, but it's like in a stitching. Really, really nice. Just like a nice coat. It's perfect for fall. And then again, perfect for spring. It's not gonna keep you warm in the like dead of winter though. Let's keep that in mind. It has buttons here. I don't know if I would ever button those. Um, no tie or anything. So again, just like that kind of overcoat cocoon kind of style, but really pretty shade of gray. I still managed to forget another brown coat, but it was in the other room because I'm in the middle of packing and I'm taking it. And this is my second Balenciaga hourglass coat. And ugh, this might be my favorite. I just love it. She is a winter coat. She is heavy, she is wool, she's stunning. This is in a 40 and my other one is in a size 38. They both work, um, but I like that this one is bigger because it gives me more room to put heavier things underneath or thicker things underneath. For the winter, this is the one that I found in Paris and I know it was meant for me. That's literally not the reason I went. It's not the reason I went to Paris, but it's the reason I went to the outlet mall. I saw that they had a Balenciaga outlet store. I walked in and this was the only one hanging there in my size. It's like this beautiful deep tan cognac. It's double breasted. It's just, it's the best color. I love it so much, so much. She is heavy though. Like after a while, if I'm just like walking around in this, it will like, my neck will be like tired. This is the last cut I have. And it's the Prada Puffer, it came out last year. I wanted it so bad and it was sold out everywhere. Um, I got this from a personal shopper. I'm so, so happy. Found it, this runs big. I do wish I would have sized down, but I'm also like, once it gets cold, it won't really make a difference. Um, but I got a size, US 6, I can't, I, I can't see. Um, but this is what it looks like without the belt. It does come with a belt, but it doesn't have belt loops. So I'm probably gonna have my tailor put some belt loops on. Um, no pockets on the inside. And it's really just a big puffer, but I didn't have a big puffy black coat. So I figured this will never go out of style. Um, let me show you, the belt is kind of essential to the to the look so I'll show you with the belt oh I just love it so much I knew I wanted the long one over the like blazer because again all of my coats are long I just if it's cold outside I don't want my legs to be cold and the rest of my body to be warm um but yeah that's I just I love that I love that it's so warm I'm, I'm about to start sweating right now but this is her I'm so glad I got it. All right, queens, those are all of my coats. Leave any questions below. I hope this was helpful. If I didn't answer a question about a specific coat, just leave it below and we can chat about them. Um, let me know which one was your favorite and the ones that I asked you about if I should sell, let me know what you think as well. Also, make sure you check out my jewelry. I will link everything below. I think that's everything. And of course, all the coats will be below. I'm literally like sweating because it's so hot in here I'm trying on all those coats and I took out the ceiling fan to put a chandelier in this room. <laughs> Silly me. Well, thanks for stopping by. See you.